Hello there. Good morning, good evening, or maybe good night. It depends from where you are. Greetings from Chile. My name is Tomas Tabelli, and this is the presentation of Antofagasta Minerals for the Shibumi Virtual Summit. Staying competitive, managing improvements project at scale in the mining industry. So who are we and what do we want to share today? I'm gonna to start off by explaining what mining is and what's its contribution for our country. Then I'm gonna go with who we are as Sotofagasta Minerals, what are some of our values and challenges. Then I'm gonna explain a little bit what's operational excellence for us and what's the methodology that we use to develop our initiatives. And last, how do we manage projects at scales and what's the key part that Shibumi has with this? So mining. Mining is the process that extracts a rock from the surface of the earth. You crush it, mill it, process it, and you get the mineral of interest for you. Chile is a mining country. It's located in the South American continent with a large coast with the Pacific Ocean. Our mines are distributed along all of our country. Mining is a big thing for us. It represents around 25% of our investments, 60% of our exports, and it's 13% of our GDP. From this, 75% is due to copper mining. And here is where Antofagasta Minerals participates. It produces around 14.5% of the total of copper that's exported from our country. We have mines in the northern part of our country and also in the central part with different landscapes, realities, and challenges that we have to face on. Antofagasta Minerals have very concrete values that gives us, that gives our workers a clear guidance of what we have to do. These values are our development pillars. We value respect. We value health and safety of our workers above, above everything. We value sustainability, excellence in our operations, innovation in our processes, and we stay as visionaries so we can construct mining for a better future. One of our main challenges is that copper is a commodity. As many of you may know, a commodity is something that you can't change the selling price. It's like the oil industry, right? What can we, what can we control? We can control the amount of what we produce, of the amount of commodity that we produce and at what cost do we produce it? So that's where, so that's where the competitiveness of the, our market begins. Mining, the mining industry is a very, very highly competitive industry where if you're not constantly growing, you're gonna fall behind. So you have to stay competitive. And here is where excellence, operational excellence and innovation takes, takes place. Staying competitive is so important that operational excellence is not just a value for our company. It's a whole area. And you may have guessed already, I, but I work for that area. Um, we use a simple but powerful methodology to develop initiatives. It's, it's explained very briefly by this pipeline that I'm showing you. It has five stages. The first one is to identify the initiative, identify the idea. Then you diagnose it, which means that we calculate what, what is the impact that this initiative will have in our business. Then you design an implementation plan, an action plan to achieve this impact that you calculated. Then you execute this plan and, and after that you, you, you keep track 
of of what's the impact that's having this initiative in your company? What's the materialization of the value? So you can you can divide this this pipeline into two big groups that I'm showing you here. The development part of the initiatives and the keeping track of the performance of the initiatives. We as an area have to concentrate all of our efforts in the development of initiatives. We have to keep developing them. We, we can't invest much of our time in keeping track of, of all the activities that an action plan has and what is the impact that each one is having on our company because it takes a lot of time. And, and by the way, part of our portfolio is that, that, well, and by the way, our initiative portfolio has around 200 initiatives that are on progress today. 200 initiatives, 200 initiatives every year, more or less. So it's a lot of time to keep track of all the activities, project initiatives that all the, 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 the different companies have, the different minds that we have have. So we, we wanted to bring a, a platform that helped us with this, that helped us manage and monitor all this initiative. And this is where Shibumi comes, uh, comes in. This is where Shibumi is a key part in our, in our process of developing initiatives, of keeping track of them. How do we structure these initiatives? And how would you see them in, in the platform and the Shibumi platform of, uh, of Tofagasta Minerals is that you would have seven levels. First off, you have the corporate as a, as a header. Then you would have the companies, then the areas, then opportunities that are associated to main KPIs for every area. And then initiatives that work towards every opportunity. Then every initiative has its own projects and then the projects have its own initiatives. So as you can see, there's a lot of levels and Chibumi helped us to keep track of every, of every one of them. The main one for us is the initiative level. And this is the one to, we want to keep track of, of more information. Chibumi helps us with a, with a summary of the initiative with the progress of it and keeping track of the KPI and value of it, which I'm going to explain to you right now. What, what is the organization of an initi initiative level? First off, if you would enter an initiative, you would see a little summary that you're watching right here. As you can see in the upper left, you're seeing the pipeline that I showed you earlier. And this initiative, for instance, is in the execution part and in the execution stage which is in orange right there. On the upper right, you would see what's the progress level, which is showing 67%, which is associated with the implementation plan. Like it's, it's already been achieved by a 67%. Then on the lower part, you would see what's the status of the initiative, who's the, lead, who's the leader, a brief description of it, what's the focus, and some details like what is the impact that it should have and what's the impact that it's having as well as the start and end date of the initiative. Then the other main tab that, that we have is the progress, the progress tab, which shows you the list of projects and then the list of activities by project. It shows you the name, the descriptions, the owners, end dates, the start dates, as well as, as many of you may know, it also shows you the whole Gantt chart of your implementation plan, with it, uh, which in this case is all the activities. Our third, our third tab is the value tab, where we keep track of a lot of, cap of process KPIs, process and result KPIs in a monthly basis, as well as the value that's impacting those KPIs. What else do we use Shibumi for? We have different type of dashboards to keep track of different things. 
uh, this one for instance helps us keep track of how are this the this stage gating process of the pipeline going through in every single area this other one is a very interesting one is the iceberg chart where it helps us keep track in a monthly basis how is our initiative portfolio growing how is how is our initiatives going from one stage to another like these colors represent that like if they're on the first stage on the second stage on the third on the fourth and if they're given uh, if they're given value or not other thing that you can see is that if if your portfolio is growing or not is, <clears throat> excuse me if, if it's growing or not as well as another thing you can see it's what's the goal that you're looking for and how you're doing today by uh, in comparison with it other thing that's new to us and that we're starting to use a lot is online presentations. This one right here is one that we, we as, an, as an operational excellence area use for our, a weekly forum where we keep track of main KPIs that are, are of our interest that, that are of our interest in the, the initiatives that we're developing this day and as well as what is the status of the activities from the plans that are being executed. Um, another thing that I believe it's very important to mention, to share with all of you, is what have we learned with all these years that we've been working from, with Jibumi? Um, what, what we started with in 2017 with them. The, what we learn is that you have to give value for every single user. You have to make the platform friendly for every single user. So in, back in 2017, a consultancy company brought us Chibumi and they knew very well how to use it and they did the initial build for us they ex they explained us what to do with it and it has it has it had a big success success um and within the whole year of 2017 and 2018 it was massively used and we could and it looked like it was working just fine but then for reasons that we can now know um, it's, it's usage is it's usage started decaying and by the end of last year we noticed this and we we decided to take an action so we talked with our clients and by clients I mean all of the operation areas that we work with we 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 talk with them and try to figure out what was the issue. And the main issue was that they thought that they were giving a lot of work to the platform, that they were, like, they were, they had to go in and click on the, click and for the descriptions and input the KPIs and that would be it. Like they wouldn't have anything back. Like they thought that they would give effort for the platform and then operational excellence would use that information, but it wouldn't make anything for them. So there was no um, incentive for them to use it. So on the last year, we, we started working together like much more closely with the Shibumi designers to make, it, to make, a platform, to make the platform a lot more visual, a lot more friendly. What you see here is how it how uh, the the summary of of our company looked like. Like this is exactly how it looked. You would go in, and this would be the first thing that you would see, right? Like I don't want to criticize ourselves, but look at this. It sh it shows nothing. Now in two in twenty twenty, this is how you you look at it. Right. You go in and in the first five seconds, you have a lot of information of what's going on with all your initiative portfolio.
to 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 start closing this presentation i wanted to talk about what's next what's next for us in operational excellence we are integrating um, the advanced analytics projects and also the innovation projects all in one place so we're going to start using shibumi to also keep track of them one thing that we're very eager to use is the data automation we want shibumi to take certain kpis from the software that we have from our operations take the kpi automatically and show it in shibumi so we don't have to do it manually and it will save us even more time. And another thing that we're, we're, we're I believe we're gonna start to use very, very, very close, very, er very early, early, is the integration with Power BI charts. Well, as you can see, we have a lot of potential in front of us and there's a lot of more, of more value that we, we can give to our clients, a lot of more value that we can give to our company. And we are seeking every day to achieve this goal. Um, thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you stay safe. I hope you, I hope you stay at home. And I hope you, I, I can meet with you uh, in some other opportunity. I would be delighted to answer any questions that you have, so please feel free to contact me. Goodbye and take care.